Chavez was arrested earlier this year for three murders over a two week period, including one right here in this Albuquerque foothills neighborhood. She's accused of three. So why was she unsupervised and free for more than a month? Tuesday, May 30th, Matt Severinghouse was leaving his foothills home when a police report says that these two, Johan Santisteban and Gloria Chavez, pulled up behind his car, blocking him into his driveway. Police reports say the couple shot Severinghouse and took his wallet, their third victim. Went out to get the newspaper. The uh, street was filled with police cars, so we didn't know what was going on. Just days before, the couple reportedly killed Samir Alabudi at this day's in and Selena Arianes at this mobile home park. Sante Esteban is in jail. Chavez isn't. She was released with an ankle monitor, but the battery on that monitor died a month ago. That means police had no idea where she was. How does that make you feel? <laughs> not good. It's, uh, it's a bit scary. It's, you know, just not having control over the situation when they thought they did. But who is responsible for making sure that battery is charged? Albuquerque District Court's policy says that responsibility falls to the person wearing the bracelet. If they let that battery die, it's a violation of parole, and they can be arrested again. Last night, she was arrested. Does it give you a sense of relief to know that? Well, certainly. She's charged with failure to comply with a court order and is still in jail tonight. Yeah, and in addition to that single charge, Chavez faces several more, including murder, conspiracy, and failure to comply with the court order. Reporting in the Albuquerque foothills for Target 7, I'm David Carl.